A new campaign is using Voices of Reason, aka moms, of course, to promote that right now love means staying away. Community leader Trisha Nguyen is with us this morning. She has more on why they're tasking moms with telling family not to come home or gather during the pandemic. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning. Hi, everyone. I think it's very difficult. I, I live in Orange County. It's very difficult. We're near the beach, right? And we wanted to actually go out to, to the park and play with our kids. But it's really, really hard right now in Orange County. The pandemic, it's rising. There's a lot of a lot of things that we need. And as, as a mom, you know, we have to think for family first. There's a lot of people that actually went to parties. And when they come home, they actually infected their parents and their grandparents. And I know so many of of the people close by that their parents and family members pass away due to that action. So as a mom, um, it really, really hurts me. And it's also concerned that everybody need to take this pandemic seriously and also to protect the loved ones. Yeah, you're so right. I mean, I'm a mom too. And I think, you know, people all over California are dealing with it all over the country. But as a mom, we're so used to taking care of everyone and looking out for everyone. So I wanna hear about this campaign. It's being led by California moms and the message and stance they're taking to help slow the spread of COVID is, is keep your distance basically. Yeah, I think the first thing, the five things that we all need to remember, the five, I would say the five W's is when you have to remember to wear a mask always as soon as you step outside the house, right? And then the second thing is you need to wash your hand and then the third thing is you need to wash your distance. And then, you know, um, usually we wanted to see social gatherings. So what we encourage is, you know what, wait, wait to see your loved ones, because for next Christmas, you might not get to see them around. And finally, when it's your turn, um, please vaccinate. You know, there's a lot of things that people are concerned about the vaccination, but I work at the Federal Health um, Qualified Health Center. And so far, we vaccinated over almost 3,000 people. And, you know, it just it just warmed my heart. We have a lot of the 90 years old that come to our health center to get vaccinated. And, you know, the 90 year old folks don't have to vaccinate, right? Because they say, I'm not going to be around. I'm going to worry about the side effects. But because of the pandemic, they actually sacrifice themselves. They worry about the side effects, but yet, you know, they want to be a part of the patriotic or, you know, to help a hand to actually stop this pandemic. So we need everybody, especially the parents, the mom out there to protect the loved one, the children, the parents and the family members. That's so true. And we all need to be very diligent and continuing to do our parts to help slow the spread. Why are you using moms for this campaign? Do you think moms are going to get that message across? Well, you know what? I think that the message, I think the more we repeat it, um, it's it's going to resonate, right? In the beginning, when we started the pandemic, a lot of us don't believe that it's actually true. We might think, oh, the data, oh, it's not going to happen to us because we're in California, right? And lo and behold, now, a year later, everybody that knows somebody that passed away, um, recently as last week, my husband, uh, nephew, he's only 44 years old in Texas. He got COVID and he passed away. There's a lot of really, really sad story. I have my mom who has multiple cirrhosis ever since she was mm -hmm. in the 40s. And my grandma in, in her late 90s, I don't dare to see them the whole year. We literally a few months, I just have to FaceTime them, don't see them. And they're sad. They want to see their grandkids, right? And I say, sorry. If I were to, because I work at the health center, I exposed to COVID every day, and I don't want me to be the reason where somebody passed away, my grandma passed away, and I'm gonna live like that for the rest of my life regretting. So I urge all the parents, especially, please, please remind, because I know the pandemic right now, we're all exhausted, right? We're so tired. All of us want to go, like for me, I'm a social person. I love to go eat, I love food. I love, you know, getting a boba yeah. drink with my friends, just sit and chill. And now I can't even do that. I can't even, you know, like have my hair cut, you know, do my <laughs> I uh, hear my you. Girl. All, all those things yeah, that we so really love. Is, yeah, my hair is so long right now. <laughs> I mean, it's like I can't do my nail. I can't go my massage. You know, I do really a lot of self-care. But please, we need to do it all together in order for us to stop this pandemic. We need we need everyone to get vaccinated when they right, can right. because without it, we're still gonna continue to go. And every time there's a holiday, I urge you know, especially the moms, please, you know, don't, all right. you guys are great. Too. All know, right. Don't so cook. I hope, I hope all the moms are listening. You had, you had so many great personal stories to share there. If you want more information on the moms campaign, visit 
lovemeansstayingaway.org. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.